Here is Danny and today. So, Battlefield 2042. It got somewhat positive reviews, sitting at a 6.8 on Metacritic. Only 1.0 too short for being nice. And EA loves to quote lines from reviews in their marketing. Meanwhile, people on Reddit and Twitter keep quoting those reviews, saying that they're all paid for. So, let's see what those reviews actually were. Let's starting off with IGN's review by Stella Chung. Watching 128 players simultaneously running into Battlefield 2042's crowded war zones is a great illustration of why bigger isn't always better. While chaotic gunfights are undoubtedly part of Battlefield's charm, massive lobbies with that many players eventually turns the series' signature modes frustrating instead of fun. And then comes the line EA quoted, With that many people gunning for each other on the battlefield, everything feels chaotic, even spread out across the impressively huge and detailed maps that have been made to better accommodate the player count. Like, it's no lie that the maps are large and got a decent amount of details, they just don't have any cover. But for the rest it's like, no, she didn't really like Allowed War, honestly. The score that she gave actually came mostly from Portal, which is actually kinda decent. And then there is PC Gamer Ends Review by Christian Fass, and Dice quoted the line, one of my favorite in the series, where DICE forgot to include the bits around it which initially said, When everything works, Battlefield 2042 is easily one of my favorite games in the series. But it is rare to make a true match without feeling like something has rattled loose from deep inside the game engine, and no amount of portal induced nostalgia can mask the feeling that this game feels rushed out of the door. There's also the line, fortunately, new content is coming to Portal alongside seasonal content for the main game. But it could be too late for some. Ha, ain't that the truth? But then again, it's always March, I suppose. Christian, his bio reads that he really loves Hearthstone and Spelunky. So how many hours does he actually have in Battlefield? I don't know. Then there is the digital trends quote, saying, nothing matches 2042's scale. Which comes from this line. Is there a better alternative? If you're looking for a different kind of shooter, Call of Duty Vanguard is out now. However, nothing matches 2042 skill. The review itself is fairly positive, but it does raise a lot of red flags during the review session, which became eventually apparent when the game went live. So yeah, like it's some really selective picking and choosing of reviews. And don't get me wrong, there are also reviews like this that made me scratch my head. His favorite mode is Hazard Zone, interesting choice, and he says that the only flaw of the games are the UI and onboarding, but the rest is fine. Um, okay. I love the sense of scale and dedication put into the launch levels, but I'm looking forward to future updates. The downside of the experience is only found in menu and UI design. Everything works, but accessing options and even finding a match is kind of confusing. But with the inclusion of Hazard Zone and Portal, the possibilities of enjoyment here are endless. Noisy Pixel is giving Battlefield 2042 an 8.5 out of 10. Also, they gave it an 8.5, but EA still quotes it as a 9. Okay then. Or there is Cock Connected, which gives it a 9, saying the good, the classic Battlefield gameplay. Yeah, sure. Interesting and unintrusive specialists. What? Hazard mode. They got the name wrong, plus low what? Create custom game modes. Sure, that's true. Cool near future warfare. Sure, I guess. And for the bad. No single player, which is true. Jets are still massively overpowered. Wait, what? I haven't been killed by a jet so far yet? And there are no standout maps. Yeah, they, they bet. Like reviews, like those from smaller sites, really make me scratch my head, but generally, bigger publications seem to be reasonably fair with the words. What I did notice in the majority of the reviews though, that people really like Hazard Zone apparently. So what do you think? Should IGN go to EA and be like, hey, you tarnished my good name? Or oh, my mediocre name. IGN has uh, their own fair share of controversies. Let me know in the comments. But hey, that is all I got for now. Subscribe for more. This was Danny and I. See you on the battlefield.